So in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the recapture check. Um, I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty details and I'm not going to run, this, run the, the program. Um, I'm just going to show you my code and if you want to like mimic my code then you can do that. Um, and like I said, there's three parts to it. And I'm going to try to do all three parts, but most likely I'm going to be I'm going to be focusing on the first part and maybe in another video I might do the other two parts. But the three parts is this. The first part is you want to check if the recapture is present on the web page. That's the first part. We'll make a function for that. The second part, you want to be able to select the correct frame because when you have a recapture check that pops up on your screen, it could be on a different frame. So you want to check if it's uh you want to check if you're on the right frame for you to for you to do select the element. And the last part is we're gonna make a function to um, find the element and perform its action. So let's do the first part in in terms of um, checking if the recapture check is present on the web page. And again, we're using uh, this is on uh, Selenium. Uh, so let's start. Let's do the function. So the function uh, typically looks like my code typically looks like this. The first function I'm gonna call it recapture underscore check. And I'm just gonna put the you know just check a specific uh, this is basically the the element or I like to call it the the selector and uh, just uh, just note the selector that uh, you know if the selector I like to use in terms is to see if it's present if the recapture check is present the selector I like to use is um, recap audio button. So if that's if that's present on the page, the recapture audio button. I believe that's the ID. Uh, if that's present, then it should return true. So the, this function returns true or false. Okay, let's um. So uh, up here you can put uh, a time like a, a time wait or a waiting, but I'm not gonna do that in this video. I'm just gonna show you the bare minimum that you can do to get this recapture check working. So I'm gonna use a try loop, a try and accept loop. And uh, the accept loop is going to return false. So if everything, so basically, if the recapture check is not present on the your page, if the recapture is not present on the page, it will return it will return false. In the meantime, um, what you want to do is you want to make a for loop, and I'm going to call the for loop frame. So the thing is, you, the thing is, when the recapture check pops up on your screen. It could be on a different. It could be on a, a different frame, and they call them, well. They're the iframes, and you may want to check all the iframes to see if if it's present. So what you want to do is you want to make a for loop, and then you want to get a list of all the iframes. So to get the list, um, and my uh, online they um, use uh, I think they use driver or web driver, but I use the keyword browser. So that uh, if you don't know, that's basically. Um, I believe it's the, um, well, okay, I won't get into that. Again, this is not, this, this, this uh, tutorial is not specifics, but you'll, you'll recognize the code when you see it. So I'll be checking the, um, where is it? So I'll be looking for find element by tag name. And the tag name that you'll be looking for is iframe. Again, when these frames pop up on your on your screen, they're they're they're, they're called iframes. And uh, please note that it's find elements, not elements. Sorry, my mistake here. Find elements is because this will return. This is a list. This here is a list here. So this will return a list of iframes. So we have that. And uh, the first thing you want to do is browser switch to and you want, you, the first thing you want to do is you want to switch to the default. That's basically like the original frame. You always want to start off with the original frame and then switch to the, to the, the, the next the, the iframe on the list content 
Is it content? Content. Content. There we go. So you want to be the on the original frame, and then you want to switch to switch to, and then the, I believe it's the the frame. Frame in frame. It just this so happens to be. Or maybe you should just call it iframe or this basically here, this frame corresponds to this here frame. Here. Okay, so basically it's gonna be um the browser, the your your bot browser, and I'm using Firefox, it'll be switching uh frames. It's gonna be checking every frame to see if an element is present. So uh but to to see if an element is present, um I use a I use again I use another I use a list of um, like tags to look for. Uh, well, I might as well just code it so you can you can see for yourself. So for x in and then I make I'm gonna make a list of specific of specific tags. If you I would I would suggest using um xpath xpath is a, has a specific um look has a specific uh, uh, syntax to it. But let me just show you. Let me just do this first. Um, here, at just copy this down first, and then I, I'll explain to you later. So we're gonna have class, and then we're gonna have. Because I noticed that if you if you if you narrow it down to a specific. Uh, uh, tag it sometimes doesn't work, so I, I know that this method always works every time. ID, so it leaves it leaves nothing to chance. Um, at name, I believe this is unique. I haven't seen anyone else use this uh, this method, so maybe uh, I may have been the the only one who's implemented this sort of technique. At four, and the last one is text, and then we have our colon there. Oh, we got a colon up here. Don't forget about that. Okay. So inside this for loop, we're going to do a try, and um, right here, um, well, the things you want to you want to try to see if the element is all is present. So we're not going to like click on it or anything. You just want to see if it's present, and that's the whole point of the try. Is that you want to see if it's present. If it's present, then it'll it'll go through the try will work. But if it's not present, then it will. Um, it will return false right here because it's the, it's the so let's do the try and accept and for the accept I'm just going to use continue you can use pass or continue doesn't matter which one you use um, but if, it, if this if it's not this try is not there then it will go to continue and it will try the other frames and if all the other frames don't work then eventually at the end it will return false However, if uh, if the if it is present, then uh, I'll ret I want to return true. Find element by xpath, uh, and I believe you, sh you should use xpath. Don't use cc selector. It's or, or css selector. It's xpath is by far better to use than CSS select selector. And here I'm using F string. And uh, keep in mind I'm using double quotes for the outside of the F string and I'm gonna be using single quotes for inside. So your XPath typically looks like this. It typically looks like uh, forward slash forward, forward slash. I can use a star uh, I'm gonna use a, an asterisk here to say any any sort of tag that can be used. And then we have your brackets inside. And inside the brackets, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna use the the curly brackets for x 
and this is this, so basically it's gonna uh, on the for loop it's gonna try class, it's gonna try ID, it's gonna try name for each one of these, and uh, here I'm gonna put a single quote or single quotes because you need that in the um, for it to work. And inside here another uh, curly bracket, and in here is gonna be the the selector of what you want to uh, what you're selecting for. Is this selector? Oh, not selector. Well, it's the check. So I'm going to say the check. And again, your check. I'm just going to be using this. In, in, all, in all likelihood, I like to use this as the check to see if the audio, if the recapture audio button is present. If the recapture audio button is present, then it will it will pass and it will go through. If it's not present, then it's obviously going to return an error and return false. So you're checking for uh, you're checking you're using the X path to check for if the if the audio um, the audio button or whatever element you want to look for is present and if it is present you can say return true so um, what's gonna happen is if it's not present if it's present if it's not present it won't it won't even reach the return to if it's not present if it's not if this is not here it won't even reach the present the code will stop right here and go straight to the continue and it will go eventually it'll, if, it's, if it's not present in any of the frames then it will turn false however if the element is present if it's present then it's going to hit this line here true and it's going to exit out so that's the first part of my code in terms of uh, checking for the recapture check and I'm going to put another video up for the, the second part, the second part of the code.